Hi, I'm Alan Montague, and today I'm going to show you something about using pins that you can tie in with a painting to make it a mixed media. I've done a little simple background, several little washes on our Soho boards, and I've got my pins that come in your starter set, and I'm going to use one that's uh, fairly fat and draw off maybe a cabin and show you how to tie these and make them look like uh, a house and give it a little bit of shadow. I'm going to pretend my sunlight's coming sort of a right to left. Um, picture your Soho board that comes with your starter set uh, as a clock. You got 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and then we're going to be coming in at about a 2 o'clock angle with our sun. Now we're not going to do anything else to the board. This is just to show you how simply you can draw off uh, a house. Now I'm going to do, you can do a cabin, you can do a two-story. I think at this time we'll do maybe a two-story farmhouse. So we're going to come up here and give ourselves a little angle. And this is basically just to kind of show you how to do something like this and add it to your painting. Just a real simple sketch. Hadn't got to be perfect. Get your angles right. And come in here with and don't make it so sharp, so so pristine. You want to have it so that it looks a little bit rough because this is an old, beat-up old farmhouse. It's been sitting here for 100 years. Let's do a little shed off the back. Just like that. Just very simple little shed. Kind of coming off these old, could even be an old kitchen that comes off of these things. We're going to come down, and then we're going to add our porch. Very simply, just like that. We're doing it at an angle. It's not sitting face against us. And just because these old houses have a tendency to be kind of structurally weak after a hundred years, I'm giving it a little bit of a bow just to make it interesting. You don't want it to look like a tract house that you see out in town. You want this to be an old house that's almost seen its best days. I'm just going back over my lines, just like this coming down. Now we're going to do our porch, just like that. This is our front porch to our house. We're going to put our supports in and maybe a step or two coming down, just like that. Finish out our house over here. Let's put a couple of little windows to our house. Uh, we've got our tin shed roof here, so let's put a little door in and maybe a little window here, maybe a little chimney here, put it in shadow, and you're going to have shadow also. I'm going to lightly go over this just a little bit because you're going to have shadow underneath this because your sunlight's coming this way. You're going to have more shadow. This is going to be in more sun, so we're going to darken this just a little bit, kind of sketch it in. Uh, this is going to be a tin roof, and if we don't put snow on the roof, it's got these little variegated metal pieces that come down. This is just for interest. We've got a little bit of shadow over on this side because it's running that way. A little bit more shadow underneath our porch, like that, and we do our shadow really out front. And basically I'm doing this with the pen to show you where it'll go. And remember the chimney, got to put the chimney in. And you can cover this with your paint once you get started. I think you'll be real pleased with the way these turn out. These little pieces are a lot of fun. Uh, they add a lot of interest when you're doing a painting. Customers really like the little neat little things that you can do with your pen and your thin line brush, but I like to use a pen once in a while. And then put a wash over it, and pretty much you're done. I'm Alan Montague. Y'all take care. Yeah.